Hello, Zips football fans, and welcome to a matchup between the 1-1 one one Bryant Bulldogs and your 0-2 Akron Zips. Let's get right into the action. With 3.28 to go in the first quarter, the Zips are going to open up the scoring on a 38-yard touchdown pass from DJ Irons to number three, Michael Matheson. He found the separation, and he found the touchdown. Early into the second quarter, the Zips will add to that lead. DJ Irons will find Oren Singleton Jr., another wide open receiver for the 24 yard score. With 7.22 to go in the half, the Bulldogs are gonna get back into the game. Zevi Eckhouse is gonna find Mark Tagleri Jr. on the four yard rollout pass for the touchdown. In the first possession of the second half, close to scoring another touchdown, the Zips are gonna fumble and Bryant's Brent Ryan Sadler is gonna make the recovery. Coming the other way, Bryant's Fabrice Mukendi pushes in for the one-yard score, tying the game up at 14 apiece. Barely into the fourth quarter, the Zips' biggest play up to this point is gonna come courtesy of quarterback DJ Irons. Irons is gonna do his best impression of Lamar Jackson as he scrambles away from several Bryant defenders and squeaks his way in for the impressive touchdown. The Zips take the lead again. And if DJ Irons impersonating Lamar Jackson wasn't impressive enough, Zips freshman Kanata Mumpfield impersonating Odell Beckham Jr. should be. Kanata gets up for the wicked one-handed grab, extending the Zips lead to two touchdowns. What a catch. Keeping with the trend of big plays from the Zips, Akron defender Logan Hawkins is gonna get the jump on Bryant quarterback Zevi Eckhaus, who fumbles the ball in the process. It'll be recovered by the Zips by Michael Scott. Zip's third year head coach, Tom Arth, sure is feeling himself after that one, as he should be. And that'll do it as the Zips take home their first victory of the year, 35 to 14 against Bryant. DJ Irons led the way for Akron with close to 300 passing yards, three passing touchdowns, 136 rushing yards, and one rushing touchdown. What a performance. Following a loss at Ohio State, it's time to get right into the Mid-American Conference play as the 1-3 Zips take on the 0-4 Ohio Bobcats. There's Tom Arth getting some friendly pregame conversation in with OU's first-year head coach, Tim Allen. An early Zips turnover is going to come by way of a Michael Matheson fumble recovered by OU's Justin Burchett. The first score of the game is gonna come by way of a 25-yard field goal from OU's Steven Johnson. The Zips, however, are gonna get some of that momentum back as OU quarterback Curtis Rourke overthrows a pass and junior Charles Amonqua is there for the interception. That's his second pick of the season. Despite the tight coverage, Irons is gonna find Mumpfield on an absolute dime for the 45-yard touchdown pass, and the Zips take the lead. With just seconds to go in the first half, OU quarterback Curtis Rourke is going to find Isaiah Cox, who makes a great grab for the touchdown score. Though called incomplete at first, this review here shows that he did indeed have his feet down when he made the catch. Touchdown OU. An early second half score will put the Zips back out in front, but not for long as OU's Armani Rogers comes storming right back with the touchdown. Following an OU field goal that'll put them on top, Armani Rogers is gonna score his second TD run of the game, a mirror's image of the first one. The final touchdown of the game is gonna come on a victory ceiling 26 yard touchdown run for OU's DeMontre Tuggle. Steven Johnson will make the extra point, putting Ohio up 34 to 17, where the final score remains. And with that, Akron falls to a record of one and four as Ohio picks up their first victory and improves to a record of one and four. Between both teams, Ohio running back DeMontre Tuggle led the way. On 17 carries, he had 201 yards and a touchdown. Thank you for watching. I'm Max Aracy, take care.